is up, y'all. Thanks for singing through, Jay. Random vlogs. Actually just got out of work. The old grindage. The old paycheck mambo. Somebody had fun. So I don't know if you can see it on the, uh, on my gauge thing there, but it's about 6.20 in the morning. Just got off of work a little bit ago. Left the work site, just gonna get this sweet rod in. Love these morning rods. It's real chill. The temp's perfect. Not a bunch of D-bags out on the friggin' road. So, you know, being somebody who works third shift, graveyard shift, you know, overnights, whatever the hell you want to call it, the main thing when I uh, chat with people or whatever, they always say like, oh man, that must be tough, you know, with the hours and stuff. And I mean, honestly, it's not, yeah, it can be depending on who you are, but people in law enforcement and the healthcare field and, you know, other sectors have crazier hours than I do. So I don't really think uh, I have room to complain. As with anything though, there's always two sides to the coin. I mean, there are some legit pros and cons to it. And depending on who you are, you might actually dig the, the overnight grind, to be honest with you. So, but yeah, I'm about to give you uh, what I think some pros and cons of this, uh, of working the vamp life, as I call it, the vampire life. Well, one of the pros is definitely, for me, being off at this time is friggin' ideal. Excuse me. I mean, this is the weekend, so it's even a little bit slower, I feel like, but even on the crazy weekdays when people are dealing with the mainstream, you know what I mean, rush hour traffic of the mornings, I beat that, you know, because I'm out earlier than the rush hour start time. I don't deal with traffic you know, at night going into the shift. So that's badass. So pretty much avoid traffic entirely, which, you know, I'm all about it. I hate traffic, especially when you're in a state that can't lane split. that since right now it's the summer and the riding season like this is real sweet I can get out of work ride do my vlogs do whatever it's a much better attempt to go out and ride I mean I'll ride out in the heat I don't care but it's just like if I can be comfortable I mean hell that's preferred another thing is just when you're trying to get basic things done like errands or whatever it's nice to not have to deal with the weekend crowd. Like, I can go in an off time on a weekday during the day when I'm out of work and just knock everything out. I just, you know, and it's funny because you kind of just forget how a lot of people with the quote, you know, normal schedule or mainstream schedule or whatever, like, operate. You just kind of forget, like, <laughs> after I kind of got settled into working overnights, like, I went out on the roads at you know, a time that was shitty. I just kind of forgot that traffic existed. On the downside, it's just like I've got, I've grown super impatient now. The little bit, littlest bit of traffic will just friggin' send me into like a rage. Like the one weekend I had to hit up the grocery store to grab some stuff last minute that was kind of needed. And I was like, shit, man, the line, like the whole place was packed. I was like, people deal with this every weekend? No wonder people are going insane. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I've I had a normal office job, nine to five type thing as well. I've done freelance work full time, which is like the opposite. You don't have a set schedule at all. 
I mean, one of the main cons, you know, and the reason people, like, the main thing people say, like, oh, that must be tough hours-wise, etc., and it's like, you know, they think sleep-wise it must really jack you up or it's difficult, and it can be, I mean, it just honestly depends on who you are as a person, like, me, I have no trouble getting to sleep, you know what I mean, if I focus on nothing, and if as long as it's fairly dark, but even if it's not, man, like, I can just kind of clear my mind out, get into that zone of relaxing, and I'll pass out real quick. But if you're somebody who has trouble getting to sleep, you're borderline, you know, an insomniac, the overnight sketch, you know, the vamp life probably isn't for you, you know, um, as far as your work schedule goes. I was never a morning person. I think that's why when I was young I hated friggin' school so much. Just having to get up early, man. Like, super early for public school around here. Like, dude, you have to wake up at like five, five something in order to get all your shit ready and get to the bus stop on time. And if you were somebody who had an early stop in the bus route, you had to get up early as shit, dude. So now it's actually kind of funny because the morning is when I'm getting off of work and I've already been up and active and everything it's not like oh I gotta wake up now and start my day super friggin early it's like hey my work day is ending and it's the morning so I've come to embrace the a.m. clearly like this is fun I'd rather be out at this time riding my bike around talking with you guys doing the stuff that I like doing making videos it smells like shit around here I mean I know you guys don't have smell-o-vision, but just take my word for it. Come on, dog. Yeah, like, I don't know if... Look at all those... Are those friggin' hot air balloons? I don't know, man. Like, because this GoPro has a crazy wide uh, lens, but... I don't know if you can see those dots up in the sky. It's either the aliens have finally come to wipe us out, uh, or it's like the hot air balloon fest in this area or something. Well, I'm just happy to see that they are actually hot air balloons and it's not an alien invasion. Cow booty up in here. Gross. Man, look at those cool things. Yeah, that's pretty friggin' cool. I'm glad I came down this way to see the uh, see these hot air balloons. 
I'd definitely try it though. I mean, I don't have a fear of heights. Heights don't bother me. I mean, it's a little, I'm sure it feels a little different in those things when you're up that friggin' high in basically like a Pier 1 Imports wicker basket. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'd, <laughs> it would probably feel a little sketch, but I think it'd be fun. Like, I don't know what's up with this giant skid mark on the road right now. Come on. You suck. Another huge con would be, although I feel like there's other ways around it, and now with TV services going to your phone and stuff like that, but it honestly just all depends on your position. But if you're into sports, I could see why it would be difficult. I mean, all the big sporting events and stuff you want to see is at prime time PM hours on TV, and you'd be at work. So unless you just have TVs around at your work, a break room to check in on, or you're just watching something on your personal device. I mean, but again, your, your job might not allow that. But um, that would definitely be a con. I mean, but me, I'm just not a huge sporting guy. Like, I'll watch certain sports and I find them entertaining and, and cool and all that and, and whatever. It's cool, but not to the point where I'm like, oh, I have to catch every game or I feel like I'm missing out on something or doing fantasy or stuff like that. I mean, that's not, I don't do any of that, but honestly, the thing I watch most is probably motorsports, which I mean, it kind of sounds obvious, but um, that's been my jam for a long time. False neutrals, baby, yeah! hell was another pro man I, I had some I had a list in my mind but my mind don't want to work right now hey geese well I'm gonna end it here today guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for tagging along on the adventure here gave you my little two cents on the vamp life and if you work overnights, third shift, and all that good stuff. I mean, again, not for everybody, but some pros and cons there. There's always two sides to the coin. And we got to see those cool hot air balloons. I mean, that was something that was totally unplanned, so that was really cool. As always, guys, if you stumbled on here via the wonders of the internet, if you dug the content, by all means, please subscribe to my channel, share and like the video, man. It really helps me out a lot. And it's free, y'all, so, I mean, what do you got to lose? Till the next video, guys, take her easy.